So what we need to do next is we need to set this up so that the upload box is only available after a user has been added. So let's go to users.php, scroll down here, and we already have this kind of set up for the ID number. So let's go ahead and just copy this if. And then up here on this line, we'll paste this above the form tag and grab this uh, bracket and paste that after the form tag. So we should probably do this up on the script tag uh, at the top of the document too. So let's copy this again and go up and paste it above the opening script tag. Then let's put in the uh, closing bracket. This is just to avoid uh, any JavaScript errors that might happen if this is looking for this form that doesn't exist. I'm going to clean this up a bit and then let's save it. And we'll go back to our page in the browser. Click on new user and you'll see the drop zone box shouldn't be there anymore. And then if you click on the existing user, the drop zone box is back. Now we want to see if there's already an image uploaded and then display it somewhere. So for now, we'll just uh, set this up above the user's form. So the image file name for the avatar is stored in the opened uh, array already. So we can really access this wherever we want on, on this page. So let's put it here above the form group and let's first do an if to make sure that it is not empty. Otherwise, it'll show a broken image. So we'll do if opened avatar is not equal to and then an empty string then break this PHP and we'll put an image tag in so an image tag IMG then the source will be equal to dot dot slash uploads then we need to echo out the file name so echo opened avatar and let's go ahead and save that and then go to the page there you go. My avatar is there, so that's good. Now, if we upload a new image, it'll replace the old one. But in order to see that, we would have to actually reload this page. So we've added a couple more tasks to our list here to, to finish this up. We need to further style this avatar also to make it look nice. And we would like to actually have it immediately swap out the old one for the new one without it refreshing the page. And then after that, we'll do something that, that could be optional, depending on if you want to do this or not. But uh, there's a good chance you might want to actually delete the old file from the server so you don't have a whole bunch of unused files sitting on the server.